How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. So you've just downloaded ExpressVPN and you're not exactly sure how to use it. It's a very easy VPN to use once you've downloaded it after paying for the subscription. By the way, if you guys are interested in a specific discount right here that I'm going to show you, which will give you three extra months for free, you'll find it in the description down below as well as a full review if you'd like to learn a little bit more about it. But let's go ahead and just get into the application itself. For the most part, it looks exactly the same no matter which which device you're on, whether you're on Android, iOS, Mac OS, Windows, or your smart TV, it's going to look exactly the same. You've got the on and off button right here, which you can just click on and off to connect to the servers. And you can tell you saw a few shortcuts right here, which you can modify. I'll show you guys how you can do that later. You have a smart location, which will be picked depending on your own location. Um, this is the location that ExpressVPN assumes is best for you. You have recently used locations right here. You can click the three dots right here in order to access the uh, servers of the recently accessed country, or you can just go to the locations right here and you'll see that all the servers are categorized by continent. And you've got over 3000 servers in 94 countries. And let's say you like a specific server right here. You can just um, go to, let's just go ahead and favorite the Montreal one. And you'll notice that it will show up right here in your favorites. And you've got the recommended locations as as well. And with regards to these settings, there's nothing you want to worry about right here except for going for the best performing protocol, which is going to be the lightweight UDP protocol. And in general, you have a few startup options and the network lock, which is the kill switch. And the kill switch will stop your internet traffic if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that you're only going to be connected to the internet while you're secured by the VPN tunnel. Otherwise, your internet connection will be cut to prevent any rare IP leaks. And this will help you out if you're in a censorship heavy country or if you want to make sure that you never leave any tracks behind you just in the rare case when the VPN disconnects and you have split tunneling, which is a very useful feature and it will allow you to select which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So let's say I only want my Google Chrome and torrenting client to be routed through the VPN while the rest of my connection is routed outside the VPN tunnel. I can do that or the other way around. It's a super useful feature. And right here in shortcuts, uh, you'll notice that we have specific shortcuts and you can add, you know, an app shortcut or a website link and it will show up right here. Uh, when you turn on the VPN, you've got your browser extensions if you want to download them. And in advance, you have nothing to worry about here unless you want to opt in or out of sharing crash reports, which never contain personally identifiable information anyways. Uh, so you can just keep it on if you want to help ExpressVPN improve their service. So that is pretty much it as far as using ExpressVPN. And now that you know how to use it, you can just go to the locations. Again, out of all 3000 servers in 94 countries, pick one of them and you should be good to go. Let's say you're going for Canada. You can just pick it and then turn on right here and you should be good to go. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in ExpressVPN, you'll find the link to this specific discount in the description down below if you'd like to claim three extra months. And you'll find the full review if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming and torrenting capability, as well as security and features. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.